I think a lot of people confused by the new Arabic name, El Hajj Malik El Shabazz. This is always, I've always uh, had the name on my passport, Malik uh, El Shabazz, only I only used it in the Muslim world. Well, Hajj is a title that is given to any Muslim who makes the pilgrimage to Mecca during the official Hajj season. One thing that I found in all of my travels was that uh, all of the Africans, not only the Africans, but the Asians and the Muslims, look upon us as their long lost brothers. And America had actually tricked many of them uh, into uh, a hands-off policy by giving them the impression that she was honestly trying to do something to solve the problem. My argument over there was designed to prove that it is impossible for the United States government to solve the race problem. It's impossible. Never have I witnessed such sincere hospitality and overwhelming spirit of true brotherhood as is practiced by people of all colors and races here in this ancient holy land, the home of Abraham, Muhammad, and all the other prophets of the holy scriptures. For the past week, I've been utterly speechless and cellbound by the graciousness I see displayed all around me by people of all colors. I've been blessed to visit the holy city of Mecca. I've made my seven circuits around the Kaaba, led by a young Mutawaf named Muhammad. I drank water from the well of the Zamzam. I ran seven times back and forth between the hills of Mount Al Safa and Al Marwa. I've prayed in the ancient city of Mina and I've prayed on Mount Arafat. There were tens of thousands of pilgrims from all over the world. They were of all colors, from blue-white blondes to black-skinned Africans. But we were all participating in the same ritual, displaying a spirit of unity and brotherhood that my experiences in America had led me to believe never could exist between the white and non-white. America needs to understand Islam because this is the one religion that erases from its society the race problem. Throughout my travels in the Muslim world, I have met, talked to, and even eaten with people who in America would have been considered white, but the white attitude was removed from their minds by the religion of Islam. I have never before seen sincere and true brotherhood practiced by all colors together, irrespective of their color. You may be shocked by these words coming from me. But on this pilgrimage, what I've seen and experienced has forced me to rearrange much of my thought patterns previously held and to toss aside some of my previous conclusions. This was not too difficult for me. Despite my firm convictions, I have always been a man who tries to face facts and to accept the reality of life as new experience and new knowledge unfolds it. I have always kept an open mind which is necessary to the flexibility that must go hand in hand with every form of intelligent search for truth. During the past 11 days here in the Muslim world, I have eaten from the same plate, drunk from the same glass and slept in the same bed or on the same rug while praying to the same God with fellow Muslims whose eyes were the bluest of blue, whose hair was the blondest of blonde, and whose skin was the whitest of white. And in the words and in the actions and the deeds of the white Muslims, I felt the same sincerity that I felt among the black African Muslims of Nigeria, Sudan and Ghana. We were truly all the same brothers because their belief in one God had removed the white from their minds, the white from their behavior and the white from their attitude. I could see from this that perhaps if white Americans could accept the oneness of God, then perhaps too they could accept the reality, the oneness of man, and cease to measure and hinder and harm others in terms of their differences in color. With racism plaguing America like an incurable cancer, the so-called Christian white American heart should be more receptive to a proven solution to such a destructive problem. Perhaps 
it could be in time to save America from imminent disaster. The same destruction brought upon Germany by racism that eventually destroyed the Germans themselves. Each hour here in the Holy Land enables me to have great spiritual insights into what is happening in America between black and whites. The American Negro never can be blamed for his racial animosities. He is only reacting to 400 years of the conscious racism of the American whites. But as racism leads America up to the suicide path, I do believe from the experience that I've had with them that the whites of the younger generation in the colleges and universities will see the handwriting on the walls and many of them will turn to the spiritual path of truth which is the only way left to America to ward off the disaster that racism inevitably must lead to. Never have I been so highly honoured. Never have I been made to feel more humble and worthy. Who would believe the blessings that have been heaped upon an American Negro? A few nights ago, a man who would be called in America a white man, a United Nations diplomat, an ambassador, a companion of kings gave me his hotel suite and his bed. Never would I have even thought or dreaming that I would ever be a recipient of such honours. Honours that in America would be bestowed upon a king, not a negro. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all the worlds. Sincerely, Al-Hajj Malik Al-Shabazz also known as Malcolm X. So Malcolm became al Hajj Malik Shabazz, who made Tawbah. He took his Shahada. He performed his Hajj. He said, on my way back from Mecca, I visited seven countries. And the CIA, and the FBI, and the International Interpol Police, and others, plotted to try to kill me at least five times. You don't have to ask yourself why they were plotting to kill this man. Uh, if I recall, I'm, I'm pointed out that while I was at Mecca making the pilgrimage, the, I spoke about the brotherhood that existed at all levels and among all people who were there on that Hajj who had accepted the religion of Islam. And I pointed out that uh, for what it had done, what the religion of Islam had done for those people over there, despite their complexion differences, that it would probably uh, do America well to study the religion of Islam and perhaps it could drive some of, some of the racism from this society as it has driven racism from the Muslim society.